Hi everyone and welcome to Vintage Digital Watches. Today we are doing a bit of a different episode because we are looking at 7 things of how you can become a better LCD watch collector. How can you be more successful at getting the watches you want? And these are things that helped me throughout the years of collecting and I just wanted to share them with you. So let's start things off with tip number one, be knowledgeable. Yes, as it is with all other collectibles, there is no too much knowledge about the things you collect. Make sure you know how to identify faults in an LCD watch. Make sure you know how to test it out. If you plan to buy a specific watch, document yourself before as many watches are prone to certain defects and you might want to know about that certain defect. Document yourself about brands and lines. Maybe you are faced at one point with a certain watch from a certain line that you have never seen before. It might be the real deal or somebody made a Franken watch. It was put together from several different parts in the same line. Also, do not limit yourself to the LCD watches you love. Do not limit yourself in knowledge to uh, calculator watches because you might be faced at one point with somebody selling two or three watches and only one is an LCD watch, uh, only one is a calculator watch. Well, the other two might be valuable enough uh, that you can trade later on and cover the expenses for the watch that you like. So make sure you have a little bit of knowledge about digital watches in general. But don't forget, knowledge is power. Tip number two is let people know you are collecting. Talk to your friends, your family, whoever you are comfortable to talk to about this hobby. But you will be amazed if a friend says, hey, I have a watch like this stored away in a drawer and I never use. Or I know somebody who has several of these watches that he just has around. You never know how you will end up with a bunch of watches probably for free or a very low price. And again, if you are open and talk about your hobby, you will see that you are not alone. I was surprised to see how many other people are into watches and a few of them are actually into digital watches or both. So be open about your interest and you will see that the world isn't that big. Tip number three is be part of the community. And by community here, I mean Facebook groups forums, watch conventions, and so on. These are places where trades happen. These are places where experience gets exchanged. Uh, you can find a person that can help you fix a specific fault in your watch or help you source a watch that you've been looking for. If you aren't part of a community, you are overlooking a huge pool of information. So at the end of this video, you will see a few suggestions as starting points where you can go and subscribe or join the LCD watch community. Tip number four is go to flea markets wherever you are. What I do when I'm traveling or visiting a bigger city, I always check out if that place has a flea market and I usually make that a destination. And because of the nature of flea markets, they have a little bit for everybody else. Chances are that the people that you're traveling with will also enjoy that experience. So at the flea markets, we all know that those are the places to get the best deals. Make sure you don't overlook them and visit them as much as possible. Tip number five is specific to eBay and that is always look for new listings. When people put out things for sale on eBay, they are either professional sellers or people in the know, they know how much that LCD watch is valued or they are just people who are doing a clearance or a cleanup of the house and they just want to get rid of that stuff. If it is the second case, you might have a huge chance of that person just accepting a price that you want to offer them. If the item would have sat for a few days, then more collectors would have found that item in their search and the bidding would have started going through the roof. So don't be afraid to make a decent offer, don't lowball people, make a decent offer and you might get a very good deal. This is something that has helped me quite a lot of times, so make sure you use it. Tip number six is also related to eBay and uh, I don't know how this is called, but I will just call it listing jumps. And uh, here's the thing, when somebody lists a watch uh, on eBay, they will fill out certain fields from the, from the selling form. And they don't usually fill out all of them, but there are some people that do, some people that don't, some people that add 
specific words in their description. Now when you do a search on eBay, eBay will match your search term to those items in the form. And what eBay will further do is when you're on a listing page, uh, it will look at other listings that contain similar words and they will do them, they will, it will show them as suggestions if you scroll down a bit. Make sure you click on those suggestions because many times people overlook specific or important search terms and they do mention them out somewhere in either in the description, uh, not in the title so that they're easily visible and this listing jumps and that's why I call them jumps because you're in a certain listings, you look at the suggestions and then you click on the three, three of the suggestions and those three suggestions uh, ramify themselves into other suggestions. Trust me, you will be amazed about the results that you will find. So make sure you use this as well. And the final tip number seven is be patient. Do not be mad that you didn't have the highest bid. Do not be mad that you didn't wake up when an auction ended. For sure you will get a second chance. And don't just shove tons of money into this. If you're doing that and buying watches at the click of a button, chances are you are paying way too much for them because collecting is about the journey, finding the right deal and trust me, you will be more happy if you obtain a watch after a long time of waiting and searching uh, rather than just buying it whenever you want. And this is a hobby for most people, make sure you treat it that way. So these are the tips that I have for LCD watch collecting and below in the description of the video you can find a link to a video that complements this video and that is uh, digital or LCD watch resources. Make sure you check that out, those are places uh, where you can get the LCD watches. And we are getting close to 500 subscribers and for that I'm giving away this Citizen shock sensor watch. I'll make sure to fit it with a bracelet and in the next video I will set out the rules how you can participate in this giveaway. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I release new LCD watch videos. And right at the end of this video, you will see a small list of suggestions where you can start your journey into the LCD Watch community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.